Today I'm going to make it a delicious and nutritious side dish, Hasselback beets. And these are going to be using some red beets and also some golden beets. And these are organic, uh, both of them. They're from a company called Cal Organic in California, a very dependable company for organic produce. So we're going to clean these up and roast these beets. And then while they're roasting, we're going to make some nice orange butter to put on top and the orange butter is going to have some parsley a blood orange shallots and some butter so i'll show you how to put it together first thing i'm going to do is scrub up these beets but i'm not going to peel them yet and i'm just going to trim off the end i'll be right back when i have them cleaned up okay now i washed all the beets and i cut off all the tops and the points and what I'm going to do here is make two separate packets because these are rather small and these are rather large and I just want to roast them. So maybe those I'll put in for 45 minutes and these I'll put in for an hour. So all I want to do is fold up the foil, make a little packet for these to sit and roast and get done nice and tender. And I set my toaster oven for 400 degrees. I'm using the Kasori air fryer oven, but I'm just using it in the baking mode. All right, we're going to sit those in there 45 minutes and an hour. And we'll check by sticking a knife into it to make sure it's nice and tender. And then we'll take it out. Then we'll add some other ingredients that we're going to put together while these are baking. All right, we'll be back. All right, we're going to get the rest of our ingredients ready here for the sauce that we're going to put on the beets when they're done. I'm going to take a nice sized shallot and cut that up into small pieces. All right, I'm just going to cut that nice and thin. And then I'm going to take some nice fresh parsley. And I'm just going to fold that in half a little bit here and cut that pretty fine. You can smell that very nice. Also going to add some of the zest of our blood orange. So I'm just going to shave some of the skin off and that'll give that a really nice citrus flavor. And we're going to melt a half a stick of butter. with these ingredients. I'm going to use a little bit of the juice from the orange. But I'm cutting this carefully because I want to use this as a garnish when we're done. We really only need like a tablespoon of the orange juice. but. This is so flavorful. It's a blood orange has a little bit of a flavor like a grapefruit as well as an orange. And then I'm going to take this piece that's left here and we're going to cut a little heart shape out of this. Why? Because this dish is so good for your heart. a nice way to serve it. All right, we're just going to save that for later. We'll take some more of this juice that came from the outside of the carving <laughs> and we'll squirt that into our frying pan also. All right, we're just going to melt the butter and make a nice little sauce out of this. We don't have to cook it long. I'm just going to put it on warm on the burner until the beets come out of the oven. All 
Okay, I got the first packet out of the red red beets. Ooh, nice. Now just to show you how tender they are, the knife goes right in and out. So we're going to let these cool off a little bit, about 10 minutes, and then we're going to peel them. Okay, now as soon as these cool off enough to handle them, we're going to peel the skins off and we're going to slice them Hasselback style. Okay, I think these are cool enough to handle, so we're going to cut the skins right off. While these are peeled, we're going to slice through them and do the Hasselback which means about a quarter inch slices and you do not cut all the way through so that it looks like this okay so it's still connected and we're going to set them in a the roasting pan we're going to cut oops that one <laughs> that one sliced all the way too soft i'm going to go a little more carefully this time and in between each of these it's going to roast again for a little bit with some oil and make it all ready to receive the nice butter sauce that we made. Okay. And there. All right, we're going to space them around a little bit with the golden beets. Now I'm going to get the golden beets out of the oven. These were a little bigger, as you remember. I like that steam escape. All right, I'll let them cool a slight bit. Mm -hmm. Lots of color here, you know. It looks messy, but what it really means is lots of vitamins. See if we can peel it uh, while it's still hot a little bit. Skin comes right off. skin comes off very easy. Okay, let's take these three beets and hassle back them. Nice and tender. These are nice sized beets, aren't they? Now we're going to take a little olive oil. And just drizzle it so it runs in between the cracks. Do a little salt and pepper here. And we're going to put that nice tray of beets right back in the oven under the broiler. We're just going to get that to brown a little bit and we're going to turn on the oven and then we're going to get our sauce ready to pour right over top when we serve it. Here we go. Listen to the sizzle. That's what I wanted to do in the broiler. Get nice and sizzly and a little bit browned on top. We're going to put these on the serving plate, which I used my blood orange heart. And a little bit of that 
parsley. Boy, these are beautiful. Okay, we're going to bring in our scallions and parsley, brown butter, and orange juice, orange zest. We're just going to drizzle it all across these little beets. And all the flavors and onions and everything will run right into the cracks. Could smell the orange juice. <laughs> so here's one of our rainy day recipes where we are trying to take advantage of the extra time we have to cook. Okay, I hope you get a chance to try this recipe. If you have an opportunity to get golden beets, this is really a nice way to dress up your table with a nice delicious side dish. Thanks for watching.